If you want a 3D model of something, doesn't matter what it is, this is basically steps I take when I go through and create something for 3D printing. So you'll get to see that process. Okay, now we're out of the wind. Here's basically what I've drawn. I don't know how a guy would ever think this was justifiable for a drawing, but this will do for me. Um, when I, I don't design very much and I'm not very good at it to be quite honest with you. So this will be the most complicated project I've ever taken on, but uh, it'll be worth it for this project, for these guys and for me, this will be wonderful. Um, as I said, I'm not really good at drawing, so when I do this, it won't be super detailed. Like some guys are very, very detailed and they'll get down to the very nitty gritty on this project, on a project like this. Um, I am not. <laughs> I'm going to get this as good as I can do and to accomplish the goal I have in mind. So that's kind of where I'm headed. And this is a Roadrunner 4000. I did look on the Roadrunner website. There are some basic dimensions like the top platform over here and then this next deck and then the overall length but some of the like how far apart the stringers are and where the sprayer comes up on the the dolly there or whatever you call it, the platform none of that is listed uh, and then I also wanted to get some basic dimensions of the chem tanks and the mixing cone and then I didn't you know I didn't know that other compartment that the mixing cone is in existed so I'll put that on there just for fun um, yeah, so now we'll go to the computer and take my chicken scratches here and turn it into a drawing that we can hopefully 3D print. Here's the sprayer trailer in Tinkercad. This is a free product on the internet that you can use to do 3D design. Tinkercad.com right up here. That's where you're going to go. It's very learnable. A lot of tutorials on YouTube. Just take your time and and if I can learn it, I know anyone can. This is version 3.0. What do I mean by that? Version 1.0 was the first version of this drawing that I had rendered. And then I went ahead and ordered a print of this trailer. And then I learned from the first print anything I needed to change and make modifications to. I did that. And then version 2.0 came in and it was great. The trailer was basically done. What is the difference between 2.0 and 
the only difference between the two trailers is this spot right here. And this spot has this sideboard cut out for the cabinet with the mixing cone. And on version 2.0, this sideboard goes all the way forward. So if I'm offering two different versions of the same thing, one for the mixing cone cabinet or the Profil 2, as Roadrunner calls it, and then one without. So a guy could design and put any objects he wanted up here, you know, totes, chemical boxes, water tanks, whatever, and then of course you have your spot up here for another water tank. So this, this is basically the trailer as it sits right now. This is 3.0. All these items are individually drawn at this moment. Everything highlighted in blue here, as you can see, is it's all one object. And then, of course, you can separate these objects, but I'm not going to get into all that. Again, you can learn all that. One thing I would warn you, I measured this whole trailer in the video. I measured everything in feet and inches. You have to convert everything from feet into inches, then into 64th scale, and then you got to convert whatever those numbers are into millimeters. This is all drawn in millimeters versus standard units. So just something to keep in mind, you will have some math. It's not a big deal. It's, it's really simple to do. So just, so don't, nothing to fret about, just something to keep in mind. If you like this video, share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to Diecast Lab. That's the best way you can support my channel and support everything that goes on with Rock and H. I'll lead you by the hand, step by step, with video tutorials, white papers, and other downloads that will teach you everything I know, even how to turn your hobby into a profitable business. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.